Hello everyone and welcome back to another 13 Nights of Halloween. I'm Wookie and I'm here with a guest, Austin. Say hello, Austin. Hello. He's from hello. Retrograde and depending on which video comes out first, I did not decide because I'm so tired of which one of these videos is going to come out first. But we're here to play some Ill Bleed. Um, do you know what Ill Bleed is? No idea. It is a Dreamcast Dream horror game that is most famous, at least I know it as, the one that hired uh, John St. John, the voice of Duke Nukem, to say, you shit in fear. And <laughs> there we go. So let's see if we shit in fear. This game is apparently extremely nuts. It is crazy, so we'll see how it goes. not bad for a Dreamcast so far. I can remember, my family ran oh, what we call a movement. horror <laughs> That's the... We hauled this house of horrors around from town to town, trying to give people a new thrill, a new nightmare. I kind of like traveling, but all that gruesome gore got to me after a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? My dad was always conjuring up new devices, tricks, and traps, each one scarier than the last. <laughs> Guess who he tried them out on? Yep, me. No! No! Oh my god. I guess it toughened me up a little. I mean, you have to be brave to walk through a den of snakes or try to avoid trap doors to make it to your room. I was a pretty fearless kid by the time I was five, thanks to my fearsome father. He fed on others' fears and was never satisfied. If you're in the audience my for this speech, what is your reaction? My mom was obsessed he'd gotten, so she thankfully divorced him when I was six. Yet I had gotten attached to horror. I remember how that good old Halloween pillow and a hot red water bath soothed me. I think I might major in child psychology. Oh my god. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on here, lady. So, how'd I do? Eric Christie. That was great! I mean, you're the head of the <laughs> World Research Club and... President of the Student Council! It's a gift! <laughs> you win the speech Yo, contest for sure! To be sure. fair, that's not the voice I was expecting from that dude. <laughs> Randy Fairbanks. Kevin Kirsten. <laughs> that cost a million. What, Michelle? Why didn't you listen to Erico's speech? I don't need to. I know she'll win. Here, take a look at this. Those are guest invitations to Ilbly. How'd you get them? From a Pepco promotion. Kill! Look, we can win a hundred million bucks there. Yeah, if oh we can God. manage to get through the whole park, that is. No sweat. I'm game if you are. Mike, Michelle. Sure Waters. thing. I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Erico? I think I'll pass. It sounds too yeah, good she's, to be true. She's done enough Why? of this. You just said in your speech to conquer your fear and surpass the odds. Come on, we can test your theory. Sounds like we're trying to be superheroes or something. Oh my god. No big I make her relive her trauma. The, house of horrors. the 90s How was a different time. Cheesy props and gags. <laughs> Which proves what's so weird about this. How can a funky place like that afford a hundred million dollar reward? Who knows? Maybe they'll make it take so long to get through it. Everyone will give up, go home, and the horror honchos will end up with a lot of free publicity. Or else the whole thing is a hoax, and they don't have the money at all. I agree with him. I'm down with that. I'm not voting or going. For real? Are you positive? You sure? <laughs> yep, you heard me. Dramatic pause. <laughs> okay, your highness. Then we three humble slaves shall bring back the one hundred million oh dollars, <laughs> and you'll be sorry. I can't wait He's to do with the, the, the flip off motion. I'd use the money for a chainsaw and hack my way into fame and fear. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, <laughs> okay, then. We'll catch you later, Eriko. The only Let's one go. of them allowed to move at a. Oh, okay, they're all moving now. They kept that pose for so long. They did. Ill 
<laughs> Amazing wipe effect. Mm hmm. A few days later. Uh oh. Do our friends go missing? I bet that's exactly what happened. Virtual Harland Ale Blame. Excuse me. Did you see three high school kids around here three days ago? They had special invites. No. Okay. What? Read the subtitles. You'll know exactly what he's saying. <laughs> is is it part of the act or is this this guy actually mute? Actually, don't. I actually didn't think he was mute, I just thought that he was like that, uh, that dude from Joe Dirt who doesn't speak very good oh. English. <laughs> Home is where you make it. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, sixth sense. Let's see, I got sight yeah. things. This music. I don't know if you can hear that pretty well, but. I hear it. <laughs> it's a banger. <laughs> In her speech, I would have liked to know what her sixth sense was. Would have been nice. She didn't talk about that at all. Obviously, she had. She didn't have enough time. So I think we can go to different places. Let's go to the cinema zone. Let's see. Jimmy, my son, the home run of what is this camera? My lack of camera control. There we go. Home run of death. So the hell cinema. So I think I can go in here. Nope. Let's just go forward. I say as I check over here real quick. Because <laughs> kids because video games have ruined me. Oh yeah, you gotta check everything. I wanna miss any secrets. It's true. Hall of Resentment, the scariest. Boogie's fun movies. Shock it shock it to me theater. <laughs> Child palace. We have to keep cool. I have trouble. Cool. Let's see, maybe I can go into one of these. Not can't go inside the home of your side Damn. The tease you like that? Oh. oh, there's the map. Trying to figure out how old games control is actually the hardest part of going back to any of these games without the instruction mm -hmm. manual. Mm -hmm. I can't go here right now, like I thought. Or maybe it really is one of these places I can go into. Oh, wait. No, no, nothing there. Oh, yeah. Oh! death. Welcome, Chateau. Chateau. Oh. Yeah, I didn't see what it said at all. You play a sport, a game, knowing full well that you're going to either win or lose. You never expect to die before your dreams come true. Neither did Jimmy or his father, Gail oh, Bangalore, this is the plot summary of the Minnesota movie. innkeeper. He set up a secret baseball practice arena in the basement of his inn where he and his son practiced day after day. <laughs> Jimmy's hard work and batting skills finally led his team to a state victory. It started out a crisp spring day, but before Jimmy could go outside to play, he and his dad went downstairs to bat the ball around a few times. Upstairs, some teenagers had been playing with fire, turning Wait, the inn into a raging blaze <laughs> what? that was soon out of control. The inn was a total loss, and so was Jimmy. Burned in minutes. Mr. Banbala was so badly made, he turned into a hideous monster, oozing and bleeding, snarling and growling. <laughs> Is that supposed <laughs> to be him? And bent on revenge. He tracked down the kids responsible for the fire and killed them one by one with a blowtorch. That wasn't enough for Banbala. He won't leave his inn or his memories, so there he waits in ambush. Okay. So, his dad isn't a baseball player? 
I guess now I guess the home run of death. There's a lot of questions in this movie plot. What? That uh, I feel the summary did not accurately possess. But let's let's go with a man is crazy and it's because his son got set up for him. To the challengers, your mission is to calm the anger of Ben Malo. His only weakness is Jimmy. Though he is mad, he is quickly drops his guard when he thinks of Jimmy. Memories <laughs> of Jimmy is the key to the mission. Okay. Let's do it again. Push start to exit. So we can like fill down the numbers here. Okay, choose a character. Are only available. So I guess the other ones are still alive. Yeah, I guess we unlock them as time goes on. I don't follow count anymore. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I guess I got damage from that somehow. From the door? Yeah, I think there was a giant... Um, oh, shit. Oh! Is that him? <laughs> I'm gonna say, yes it was, that I'm taking damage from that. I, I need to start paying more what? attention to my sixth. I think my sixth sense is telling me that there's something bad going on. Oh. He's gonna sing uh, Take Me Out to the Ball Game. So he thinks it's a Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, maybe that was Jimmy's favorite song, along with Jimmy Crack Corn. And... Jimmy Crack Corn? <laughs> and I don't care. And then the oh, rest of the Jimmy. song he doesn't like to mention because it's too problematic. What? What's the rest of the song? My master's gone away. Have you never sang the full Oh my god? Movie? What? Oh, that's just kidding. like her dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they just. Yeah, <laughs> again, the beginning parts of Jimmy Crack Corn are perfectly fine. It's the ending part of Jimmy wow. Crack Corn where you go, oh no, <laughs> I forgot this wow. part. Wow. Alright, let's see. That's not the one that I wanted to use. Okay, so I can jump. This is what I wanted to try to use. Okay. So if I pay attention to my sixth sense, I think it should tell me if there's some. Never mind, because I just got hit by a gassy soda can somehow. Oh my god, she's going mad. Oh. It's just a phone. What? Why did that bother her? <laughs> I need to stop pressing triangle. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to run? Yeah. The fire at the Chateau Bombal claims the life of owner and son. Fire broke out last night in the annex of Chateau Bombal. Jimmy ate and son of Mr. Bombalo. 41 divide, died of severe burns. and proper use of fireworks by guests allegedly caused the fire. Does that count as memories of Jimmy? Your son died when he was eight years old. It's pretty messed up. Oh, God damn it. I was like, I, I can totally send something, but it was too late. There we go. Newspaper clipping. Youngsters, come join us. Cheto Bambola opens today. Youth hostels. Cheto Bambola opens today, a place where the young can gather. Owner Mr. Bambolo says with enthusiasm, I want the chateau to be a utopia for teenagers, immediately regretting what his actions had led him to. <laughs> The hostel, an excellent leisure facility, surrounded by, uh, by nature by an excellent leisure facility. Okay. Oh man, she's hurt. She's hurt and bad. And I don't know if there's a way for me to heal or anything. Maybe if I stop running around everywhere like a goddamn idiot, and I actually just kind of slowly move forward, <laughs> maybe less things will pop out and scare her. Oh my. I wow. I'm in danger from that too. I think I should get up pretty soon though. Okay. How are you supposed to avoid that? That's a very good question that you're asking me right now. I wish I knew <laughs> the answer myself. Nothing special now. Really? You can't go inside this thing? Nothing special. <laughs> Strength at the. Well, 
You know what? I bet I can press X and stop. I died. Dead? Your total prize is... Oh, I got three bucks. Wow. Three bucks? I thought three thousand. Oh, I thought the dots were... Oh, you might have been three thousand. Uh, not that it matters, because I think that was a full-on game over. Well, now that I... I think what I had to do was press X on certain things. So let me now see if I can skip the cutscenes. Yes, I can. Okay, good. Just so we can go in there. I think what you need to do here is press X and you can actually stop the, um, the stuff from coming at you. So let me see if there's... Oh! So let me go back in there. At least we get this amazing song again. <laughs> it's so, like, whimsical. Like, you don't expect to, like, go in and this be the last song you hear, you know? <laughs> no, you would not. Answer. Thank you. Home run of death. There's not enough baseball in this level. No, we have to find Jimmy's baseball shit. I think that's gonna be, uh... uh -huh. Where we find most of the baseball. Okay. Okay, so this will be the test. So if I go up here... Keep pressing X. Yeah, because when I tried... To go through here before... Yeah, you see, there's a... Hey! I was already that close to it! I was nowhere near that. I'm gonna call baloney on whatever just picked me up. Okay. So it's not pressing X. So is it looking? It's times like this. I wish I had a manual <laughs> to know exactly what mm -hmm. all my buttons do. There's no like pause menu or, or something? No, the. Oh. Character. Let's see, you can change character when the character is dead. Item list. I don't have any items. I don't think anyway. Wow. Nothing so far. Trying to be as cautious as possible going forward. Come on. Nothing special found. Nothing here. Actually, funny enough, I can't run right now. I wonder if it's because Ooh. of the. Oh, shit. Maybe I just back off. <laughs> Maybe that's the actual answer here. Alright, be cool, be calm, be collected. Okay, now, from what I remember, there is something here. We need to figure out a way to not actually get it to activate. Okay. Damn it! Come on. It's baloney. Well, at least I'm in here now. Okay, so I just need to be careful. I was about to say, I was about to get jumped right from the gun. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Well, I think last time you got hit by everything. Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, what was that? Okay, there was a phone there last time I checked, but... So mm -hmm. I don't want to go near the phone. So I'm kind of... Cautiously making my way forward. Last time I was here, I also checked the light, and that light blew up in my face. Yep. Let's see. No. Nope. Alright, I was able to avoid it that time. This is Shit. That trap totally did. Okay, last time I checked that place, that didn't happen, right? Yeah. So there. God damn it, did I really oh, have to no. another thing? <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna check this door now. Okay, nothing. So this must mean I was coming through. Okay, nothing. God, I need to stop running. Because <laughs> I'm going to die. Careful. Very calm. 
very collected. Nothing special found. I just realized, am I bleeding from my feet? Hmm, certainly looks like it. Making my way through, casually, as you do. Damn. Oh my god. Everything is out to get me here. Nothing. Thankfully, it didn't cause that much damage, it looked like. The thing I care about is yeah. the thing that actually causes me damage. Okay. Can I go inside here? Yeah. Ooh. God damn it. Is it poison gas filling the room? It is. It's like anything can can do damage to you. This bell going off is gonna scare me somehow. Yeah, I yeah. was right about that one. What's special found here? There has to be something. Oh. Okay, let's go in here. Dead body. Oh, okay, that's no. That's actually something to be. <laughs> you should be freaked out at that. That's actually fair. Yeah, it's not one of your friends, is it? No, it's not. It's gonna be some <sighs> Oh, and down I go. Oh no. Alright, now I'm fine. She's a trooper. She can get through this. We just need to. Nope. Wow. That's gonna be yeah. Wow, shock death. I knew the second the hand was coming out, I was like, that's gonna be the thing that kills me. Wow. Man. This game seems hard. This game does seem hard. I feel like I'm missing something. I yeah, it's like there's... Now I'm kinda... Listen. Let me look at this FAQ real quick and see what I have to do. Basic operations. Okay, X is jump. Y, bring up area map. A, investigate. B, cancel. L, swing camera. R, bring up menu. During battle. There's battle? Are we have any. <laughs> <laughs> In Ill the character you control has a meter at the top of the screen showing four senses sight, hearing, smell, six sense. During play, you will see a flat line going through each section of the meter when there are no shock and, uh, events, enemies, or items around. A shock event happens when your character approaches any given area at a stage that triggers something to startle you or possibly injure you. This can change from a sudden noise to an enemy jumping out and hitting you. When there's an enemy activity, shock events, or items near you, the meter will start to become active by a wave coming up on one of more senses. The closer you are to the enemy attack, the shock event or item, the larger the wave becomes. Sight reacts when your character sees something that looks suspicious. Hearing reacts when your character hears something. Six sex come, uh, smell when you smell something. Six sense reacts when you're close to an item. Investigate when close, press A. Be careful, if any of your senses start reacting in a flashing blue background, there may be an enemy waiting for you. The value oh, of the device Okay, so I need a horror monitor. This valuable device allows you to warn yourself of possible shock events enemy detecting. The, the horror meter is usually located near the very beginning of each stage. Okay, so we need to... Apparently the Wait, you have to... Oh, I wow. It's like in just... Dark Souls when you get the, the broken sword at the beginning. And you're like, okay, I guess I have to use this. And you get bodied by the first boss. It is exactly like that. <laughs> Except for in this old style game, this is just the way games were designed. Okay, here's her oh, amazing man. speech where she talks about her shit dad. <laughs> the one who spooked her <laughs> all her life. <laughs> Alright, we got this. We got the funny jam back. So I think that with this time, we're going to be able to see whatever spooky thing is going to be coming up. Got it. We all know all the amazing lore. We have to find Jimmy's stuff. His cracked lore, his baseball hat, his... I was about to say football, but that's not accurate to what he is. <laughs> okay. Okay, there should be an item somewhere here to help us. Pretty close by. Uh, 
you notice anything? Oh wait, that's right. No. Sixth Sense will go off if I'm near something that can be interacted with, right? I suppose. Did I just get spooked by that wall? <laughs> the answer is My yes. My God. Can you do anything about the the plank up there? What? I, I've not entered the stage, and the stage is already fucking <laughs> in some way. Maybe it's cross. There's nothing I can do to stop this, unfortunately. Now I feel like it has to be somewhere here. Nothing. Or maybe it's before you even enter the place. Enter the baseball park. Baseball movie. You got a point there. So let me. Oh, but once I'm in here, I'm in here. Wow. So. Let's see. It has to be somewhere at the start of the level. It doesn't say where, it just has to be somewhere here. Nothing special found. No, I know that for sure is something. Because we went through that and the stupid giant head showed up. Mm hmm. Okay, and there's something here as well. Let me see, just to be sure if it means what start level. Near it because it was the only thing that caused all your senses to react. Oh! Okay, so it has to be that all our senses are activated at the exact same time, and then we will find this item that will stop these freaking shock events from happening. anywhere here as far as I can tell. Six cents over here. I found a Hassie. I don't know what that means, but I found it. <laughs> Damn it. Nothing special here. Nothing special here. What? <laughs> What was that? I don't know. I, I honestly have no idea. The Relax is both by inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. So we basically have an ability to let us breathe. Okay. It's only up here that it activates up I Nope. Oh, nope, that was my bad. Oh! Oh! Let's see. Maybe it's here? Yeah! Wow! I didn't even see it. I didn't either. It's like it's not rendered. Do you just have to... Yeah, you have to kind of go into it and go from there. Okay, so that means we should be able to finally do something here. We should be able to stop. I need to stop pressing the triangle button <laughs> every single time. <laughs> it's like I'm playing Kingdom Hearts and I'm assuming that I'm about to just do something. Mm. Use the horror mirror, press and hold the R trigger. This will cost you 10 units of adrenaline. Now use the analog sticks to move the sensor around. When the horror meter picks up a shock event attack, or item the sensor will zoom in on, press A button to warn yourself, and a small blue light will appear at the spot. Every time you warn yourself, it will cost you 40 units of adrenaline. After warning yourself, the light can either approach the blue light or avoid it entirely. If the blue light was a shock event, when you approach it, the light will circle around you and give you some adrenaline. Okay. So I think I am good to just... Yeah? I avoided it. Cool. Hell yeah! Cool! Nice! Alright. <laughs> now Alright, making gonna... progress. Now we're pod racing for reals. <laughs> this is... Now this is pod racing. Alright, let's see what we got here. I'm just gonna do a quick go check because I remember... Yeah, my phone rings. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. 
suddenly the game makes perfect sense now. She's like, my dad taught me to <laughs> avoid this. My dad. I know me. that phones ring. <laughs> exactly. Now I can go up to that spooky painting and just assume that everything will be fine. Thank you for the newspaper. I'm collecting these just in case. Yeah, I think this painting has to be something, right? Gotta be. It looks so scary. It does. Looks like, uh, the <laughs> heavenly creatures, um... What's his oh. name? Ooh. Well, we avoided being shocked, and now she says cool and puts up the hands. <laughs> Creature. Oh damn it! I, I, oh, I went too close to the sun on that one. That's okay. Uh, how they're afraid of Orson Welles. Have you seen that movie? Heavenly Creature. I thought you were talking about a completely different movie. I was like, it took me a while to hit even the um. <laughs> you were talking about. <laughs> I thought you were talking about Heavenly Body or something. Oh. oh damn it! I missed that one. No, but I've never seen them. I don't think I've, I think I've said it before. I don't think I've seen any movie with um, either directed by or starring the big man who played Gal the, the giant transformer. Um, it's a uh, it's a movie with Kate Winslet, and I forget who who else. But for some reason, they're afraid of Orson Welles. They just think he's the grossest person to ever live. Uh -huh. And there's like this weird. Um, dream sequence where they see him and they run away. <laughs> that is weird, but maybe at the time it, he was a pretty scary man. He was difficult to. Around the nineties. Uh, it was. Yeah, this is Kate Winslet before Titanic. Oh, okay. Before she kind of popped off huge. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, funny enough, I I. I I don't remember. I, that, that name sounds super familiar, but I don't remember actually watching anything with it. Cool. Nice, thank you very much. This. I keep forgetting the jump button. There it is. Nice. I see anything here? Oh. Nice try. We got him this time. Now <laughs> that we know exactly what to do in this game, the game becomes much easier to deal with. Yeah, why wasn't this part of the intro sequence? Probably you know? because back in the day there weren't really a th there wasn't a thing called tutorials, to be honest. I feel like so many people rented this game and were like, this is bullshit, and they would just turn it, <laughs> return it. It's, it's very likely, because this game is kind of a uh, cult game, so that means that the mainstream were like, what the fuck is this game? <laughs> <laughs> And we're like, yeah, we're done with this. Bandage. Ew. Thank you. Can cool. Real quick? We need some more action. Cool. For sure, if we're gonna keep up. Uh, I know for sure. There's one of these, right? Yeah. Then there's the zombie man in the bathroom. Cool. I like that. Yeah. This is back when. Uh, your main character could just kind of say cool over whatever action she was doing. Style and six style. It is very much. Alright. Now this guy's head will pop off, but we won't be scared. Cool. Oh, we prevented it. Cool. Oh, saved his head. <laughs> yeah, we saved the head. Good job, us. We did a good job on that. I like how there's only one uh, voice line for getting the adrenaline back. Yeah, and it's cool. Oh. Damn, I completely forgot, but it's okay because we have items. I say as I open the map once again. <laughs> Item list. I'm gonna use this bandage to cover up everything. That'll work out. And to calm us down a little bit. Oh god. 
Whoa. Like, oh, it, it must have been the emulator settings that made it go like real fast. <laughs> This is uh, uncharted territory right here. Yes, it is. Now we have no idea where any of the things are going to come from. <laughs> I think we're in the other side of the mansion now. I'm running real low on adrenaline points, though. So yeah. I'm smart with my blue stuff. Aim is scary again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> part where it's a survival horror and you're not actually meant to- oh, weapon. Weapon? I'll go over here. Come on. Oh, someone in that pool, huh? Ooh, I'll run that. Nice. Hell yeah. This, this reminds of your son. <laughs> <laughs> fucking beat onto him with the bat. <laughs> beat the creep. Jimmy. <laughs> hey, you're not Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. We took a quick check. Anything to avoid? Nope, it looks like I am safe. But now I feel like the dad is gonna totally come attack me at some point. Yeah, it it takes ten adrenaline just to open the thing. Yeah. Oh no. There has to be something in one of these corridors, right? Alright, we go in here. The photo box. Yes. Oh, save game. Let me put this on my VMU <laughs> real quick. I forgot about those memory cards. Yeah. It was pretty fun. It was a good idea. Little Tomodachis. Yeah. You can have the little, um... What's the main guy from, uh... Fuck, I was about to call it Yakuza, but now it's boring Yakuza. I forgot the name of it. <laughs> Fucking Shenmue, there you go. Shenmue? <laughs> yeah. How could you best describe Shenmue? Boring Yakuza? Or the game where you're trying to find a sailor? Oh. Where it delivers the amazing mortal line of, I was Chinese. So that's <laughs> Good to kind of avoid there if we can. Looks There's like gotta be something. Your sixth sense is going off. Yeah. Oh no. I think we're gonna go forward and just ignore it. <laughs> what is going on? Did I lose my camera? Yeah, you. It's uh, it's all empty because it costs ten just to open it. Oh no. What the fuck? Oh! oh what? Matt! Uh, damn, oh, you're right. The, the, the... Oh, yes! Oh, Home run! Oh no! <laughs> oh god! Maybe if I run to safety. <laughs> nope. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh! Strength empty. And damn, they're still just, kicking. <laughs> just kicking the shit out of me. Where's the ref? <laughs> Stop this. Thankfully, it should have been saved. Actually, let me see if it can save and put me right where it was. Because then I'll try and see if I can fight with the actual bat. I think the controls are different for um, combat, right? I believe so. Okay, yeah. 
go here. Go to my item list real quick. During its uh, Y, or I'm assuming triangle, use short range weapon, slap or punch. What button is? Y? And the long range weapon is the right trigger. It looks like the bat is more an actual like item to use against Jimmy than it is a legit like weapon. Oh. Let me see if any of these items kind of increase my overall standings. Cover stamina. Nah, nothing. Well, actually, I probably could use some. <laughs> there we go. Use some. Now I'm calm. Alright, and I remember this time not to just start spamming it. I think you have three uses. I think you saved at 28 adrenaline. Alright, so I have three uses, so I have to make sure. But I don't actually have enough to mark them. So it's kind of just like using them to use them. And man, they got you, like, giving you an empty hallway. They do. So you're out of the adrenaline, and then they make you fight. It's really kind of a pain in the ass, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I, I can like, feel it. Just like any horror scenario where I go, oh man, this just isn't fair. Alright, like, I hug the wall, I think I should avoid the fight. Wow! There's gonna be something here. Yeah, you can avoid the traps when you use this here. Oh. oh Can't no. do anything here, but now I'm curious to see if it's an item. Nothing special here. Damn it! You have one use left. Oh, Isn't it one more when it's more than two? That's when the ghost is here. Oh god. Oh combat. It's either uh, Y or right trigger. No, right trigger might actually be the right. What is he doing? He's not really doing anything to me though. Let's see if I stand on the head of that. Why is there a helipad there? Yeah, save me! Huh? Save me! Save me! Wait, why is there a helicopter? Wait, what? Damn it. I was not going to be able to avoid that one. I assume it's so you can get out of the encounter if you don't have any weapon. Hmm. Where did- how did the helicopter deploy the- Damn, I didn't have enough action points to get out of that one, unfortunately. Let's see. Oh, there's something here. Yeah, testimonial. Remind him of Jimmy. Really good times. That's gonna get me. Oh man. Yeah, nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. But it's fine. I'm tanking it right now. It's my build. <laughs> oh, my bad. Mass homicide at Chateau Bambolo. Owner Mr. Bambolo mysteriously disappeared. Mercilessly murdered bodies were found at Chateau Bonvalo, burned all identified as the young guest. Mr. Bonvalo, the owner, is missing. Details are still under investigation. Mr. Bonvalo's diary was found off the site. Hatred directed towards the guest who caused the fire filled the pages. The state police are searching for their suspect, Mr. Bonvalo. Very good name. Aw, oh, damn it. What? <laughs> wow, <laughs> you're so far away. <laughs> Reach hitting me like a fucking guilty gear character with range, unbelievable. <laughs> okay, I have to check to see if there's an I have to run the risk. Alright. I'm gonna just try and avoid major doors. There we go. Do I have enough for one last one? Yes. So there is something here, there's two things here, but there's nothing at the actual door. So I feel confident. 
I tried my best on this one, but this game is legitimately <laughs> actually extremely tough. It's so tough. It is very tough. But thank you very much to Austin, my guest, for being here for 13 Nights of Halloween. Oh, yeah. Here for the spooky times, here for whatever the hell this game... I actually kind of like where this game's kind of going with its weird, cheap direction, but goddamn, is this game really hard? Yeah, it's just like, how are you supposed to know? I think supposed to know what's going to hit you. you. Yeah, you're supposed to be able to, like, figure stuff out. But it's like multiple run base kind of, where it's like, oh, yes, yeah, start over. Now you know better, play better, go like that. But I'm in 2021, and I am not conditioned to be in those kind of games anymore. <laughs> that is not my <laughs> life. <laughs> but Fair enough. That's the end of today's video, everyone. Until next time, I'll see you in the next 13 nights. Say goodbye, Austin. Goodbye. Perfect.